Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 12. Solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. I can have n power 2 minus n power 3 equals for 12. I can express it as 4 plus 8. Now from here, I can have n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 4 is simply 2 power 2 plus 8 is simply 2 power 3. I move this over here. I also move this over here. So I can have this as n power 2 minus n power 3. This is minus 2 power 2 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. Now let's group them. The one with similar exponents. I have n power 2 minus 2 power 2, then I have minus n power 3 minus 2 power 3, and this equals 0. Now I can have n power 2 minus 2 power 2, there's minus here, there's minus here, I can factor it out. Minus n power 3, this is plus 2 power 3 equals 0. Remember, if you multiply out using this negative, you will have this again. Now, at this point, you are going to expand each of these expressions. So, using this, this is difference of 2 squares minus power 2 power 2. If you have a squared minus b squared, this is a minus b times a plus b. For this, if you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this is a plus b times a squared minus a b, then you have plus b squared. And in each of these, our a is n and b is 2. So we start with this, with this one here, and we are making use of this identity for the first one to expand. So that means we have n minus 2 times n plus 2. And there's minus here, minus for this, we consider the second identity, which is this. We have n plus 2 times n squared minus n times 2 plus 2 power 2, and this equals 0. So from here, you have n minus 2 times n plus 2 minus n plus 2 times this is n squared minus 2n plus 4, and this equals 0. So there is n plus 2 and n plus 2. I can factor that out. Then if I divide this by n plus 2, I will have n minus 2, and there is minus here. I have minus. I divide this by n plus 2. I will have n squared minus 2n plus 4, and this equals 0. From here, I have n plus 2 times n minus 2. I multiply using negative minus n squared plus 2n minus 4. This equals 0. Multiplying everything with negative. So from here, I have n plus 2 times n plus n, that is 3n. So we have 3n minus 2 minus 4, that is minus 6. And we have minus n squared, and this equals 0. So from here, we can have n plus 2 times, let's rearrange this. We have minus n squared plus 3n minus 6 equals 0. So we can equate each of these to 0. We have n plus 2 equals 0. We also have minus n squared. 
plus 3 and minus 6 equals 0. So solving each of these to solve the first one here, we have n equals negative 2. This is our n1. Simply move this over here. That is my first solution. Now we have this. And to solve this, I can divide each of the terms by negative 1 because I want this coefficient here to be positive. I divide each of the terms by negative 1. Meaning negative n squared divided by negative 1. I will have n squared. 3n divided by negative 1, I'll have minus 3n. Negative 6 divided by negative 1, I'll have plus 6 equals 0 divided by negative 1, I'll have 0. Now, with this quadratic equation, I can solve for n using the formula method. I have n equals negative p plus or minus square root of p squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. And from this, our a is 1, which is the coefficient of n squared. b is negative 3, which is the coefficient of n. And c is 6, which is the constant here. So let's insert everything right here. Of n equals negative d, that is negative times negative 3, plus or minus square root of b squared. That is negative 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 6 divided by 2 times 1. From here, n equals this is 3 plus or minus square root of this is 9 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 6, this is 24 divided by 2. So from here, I have n equal this is 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 24. This will give you negative, that is negative 15. And this is divided by 2. So from here, you have n equal this is 3. Plus or minus, there is minus here, a square root of negative 1 times square root of 15, divided by 2. So, after that there, what I can do will be to have n equals 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 here is i. So i, this is i here, iota, main number i. Then I have times square root of 15 divided by 2. So from here I have n equals 3 plus or minus i root 15 divided by 2. I can factor out n. I can have, I can factor out 3 over 2. That's 3 over 2 of 1 plus or minus i root 15. So at this point, we have two complex values for n, in which this is our n2 will be 3 over 2 of 1 plus i root 15. We also have n3. This is 3 over 2 of 1 minus i times square root of 15. All these are complex values for n. Now we can check by inserting this particular value for n. So I have check. My n is negative 2. That is the real solution. And this is n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 12, meaning this is negative 2 power 2 minus negative 2 power 3 equals 12. When you have negative raised to an even number, you have positive. So this is just like writing to power 2 because negative raised to an even number is positive minus. If you have negative raised to an odd number, it will give you negative. So this is minus 2. Right? 
And this is just like having negative times two raised to the power of three. So let me express it that way. Negative times two raised to the power of three. Because negative raised to the power of three is negative. Because this three is an even number. And this equals 12. Have you seen that? 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. Minus, minus 2 raised to the power of 3 is what? 8. This is 12. Minus times minus is plus. So this is 12 equals 12. Have you seen that? So this solution has satisfied the equation. And this is how you can solve it step by step. Thank you and goodbye.